So natural hazards, mitigations, and adaptation. We'll focus on natural disasters as discussed also have of our videos and the video that you have seen. Okay, and what are natural hazards? Natural hazards is a natural event of unusual magnitude that people don't expect and cannot control. Okay, natural hazards, hazards threaten people's life and their activities and forever change the ways of living. As you see in the video, even though that it's how many years ago, you know, but then again, it was been recorded that that, that is the very uh, the deadliest, you know, and every people would still remember that kind of disaster. Okay. A natural hazard event can come to a natural disaster when causes a destruction of people's property to their injury or even versus death. As you can see, there are millions of people, you know, millions of people were uh, died because of these disasters. Okay. In people's lifetime, at least one natural hazard will likely have some impact in their life. In the year 2001, natural hazards kill over 25,000 people and cost almost 40 billion euros in damage worldwide. Unfortunately, the cost of natural hazard is, is increasing dramatically. So, this was 2001. Anong year na po ngayon? 2021. 20 years. This is 20 years ago. So, it's really increasing, no? Um, damages that the natural hazards uh, have given to the earth. First on the list are earthquakes. Okay. Earthquakes are caused by strain energy underneath the fault line within the earth's crust. With its strain energy is released, the result of um, the result is an earthquake. So we have three effects of the earthquakes. We have ground shaking, surface faulting, and a uh, earthquake induced ground failure. Okay. So what happens when there is, when there is an earthquake? Okay, so there is an energy wave in, in, uh, in the earthquake that moves outward of the focus that makes the ground quake, which is what we call seismic waves. Okay, in the seismic waves, you have their focus. That's under the crust. Now, yung nasa taas po no, nakatapat no, that's the epicenter where the focus at. Okay, so the focus is a point in Earth's interior where the earthquake release is released. No? Okay, so the seismic, the seismic wave radiates from the focus of an earthquake. So naalala nyo ito, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo na shear, no? shear stress. Okay, so nakakaroon nyo ng fault line at talagang pag-ioon, so yung yung ang uh, 8 point ba yung yung binanggit nun sa video na it was really a devastating um kind of um earthquake that has happened in different or around the world okay and we have types of seismic waves okay so we have p waves which are the primary waves the s waves are the secondary waves the l waves are the surface waves and the railway waves the sound wave or the P wave, this is the first wave to release the structure and it causes buildings to vibrate. So if you're living in a high place, you could, you could already feel that there is an earthquake. Okay, so dapat medyo alert na. Pag ganun, ano. The secondary wave, which is the S wave, which is causes earth to move at the right angles towards the direction of the wave. It is also causes structures to move from side to side. Medyo malakas na ito. Malakas na, no? Two low frequencies wave almost cause minor vibration. Building must be constructed to withstand this vibration in order to prevent from them being destroyed. Okay? So, meron po kasi even in the houses, no, kung malakas po yung nangyari po, no, na 
impact na movement, na vibration. Meron ng mga nagkakapetak-petak na building, especially if this kind of buildings are not, uh, hindi sila yung medyo may edad na ng mga kinds of buildings. So, the engineers have to check on the buildings kung meron silang kailangan ng mga reconstruct doon. Why? Kasi may tinatawag tayo din mga aftershocks. And sometimes, these aftershocks are also deadly. No, that will cause um, a lot of damage also. Surface faulting, on the other hand, other hand, is stealing of the offset of the ground surface caused by differential movement that occurs along a fault line. The effect of surface faulting is generally caused by earth, earthquakes that, that registers as 5.5 or more on the richer scale. As you can see in the video, um, that is more than 5.5. So as you can see in the result, almost, almost, uh, it almost erased the city, no, because of that very, um, powerful earthquake. The displacement ranges from a few millimeters to several meters. The damage caused by surface faulting increases with, with increasing dips displacement. So, mas malaki pag kapag mas malakas, syempre. No, pag malakas ang ang seismic seismic wave mo doon sa ilalim mo sa focus mo mas malakas syempre yung nangyayaring shaking sa taas. Okay? Buildings are susceptible in the surface faulting in the addition of in addition roads, bridges, railroads and tunnels and pipelines. The most effective way to prevent damage from surface faulting is to restrain from construction along the fault line. Sadly, there are buildings no, that are being built on the uh, fault line. So, hindi na check agad na meron palang fault line doon. What, would ha what has happened is that ano po, na, nagkakaroon ng malaki talagang um, ano to, problema. No, or this grasha dahil hindi na check sometimes the engineers na meron palang fault line sa ilalim na napagtayuan na building no, and it causes a lot of lives and damages volcanic eruption volcanic eruptions are spewing forth of lava from active volcanoes and also consists of terrapoles ballistic profiles lahar, lava flows and pyroclastic phenomena <laughs> The Terra Falls includes, okay, includes um, rocks and blobs of lava, okay, okay, blobs of lava that are ejected within the volcano into the atmosphere, okay. This also from deposits of the bees fall back onto the surface of the earth. The terra falls can cause damage to the structure and property due to the falling fragments. These fragments cause a layer which covers the ground and it produces a fine film and fine green particles in the air. Remember when the Taal volcano erupted, no? Kahit na nandito kami sa Metro Manila, nawalan kami ng pasok, no? Classes are suspended because merong ash fall. And the people were required to wear, to wear N95 masks. Kasi, um, hindi, hindi, medyo delikado din yung ash fall, lalo na kung mahina ang baga ng mga tao. Okay. So, we have recall pyroplastic phenomena. These are dry pyroclastic materials built into masses. They are also hot gases that move quickly, quickly along the ground. Also with a lava of lahar flow, due to high density and velocity, lahar can destroy structures in their path. Anything that's in its path, tisirain niya lahat yun. So we have also hydro meteorological hazards which are what we call most common is floods. As you can see, oh, what happened in China, no, tatlong river nila ang nag-overflow. And it causes a lot of destruction to them. We have several types of flood. We have flash floods, river floods, coastal floods, urban floods, ice jam, glacial lake outburst flood. And the floods have different characteristics that are very dangerous 
no? Hydrodynamic pressures caused by the velocity of the water. This destroys foundation of the construction and agricultural agricultural activities. So napakalaki po ng uh, nagagawa niyang um, nagagawa niyang uh, paninira. No? When the flood are most likely to strike and uh, it can have a devastating effects on the crops and structure. How about cyclone? Tropical cyclone is another phenomenon that occurs within the Earth's atmosphere. The term cyclone, boys and girls, are, refers to the counterclockwise movement from the northern hemisphere and clockwise rotation in the southern hemisphere. Now, the strength of the cyclone will be termed depending on its strength. No? Kung siya ay yeah, hurricane, tropical storm, tropical depression, cyclone storm, or simply a cyclone. So tayo dito sa Philippines, ang madalas nating narinig ay tropical depression. Okay. Cyclones are known to cause severe damage due to strong wind. This wind damages installation, buildings, and houses, and communication systems are lost. So, di ba? Nakita nyo naman ngayon. Si Bagyong Maring, meron siyang dalang malakas na ulan at hangin. So, sabi, combination of the two, you have now the most dangerous, one of the most dangerous natural hazard. Okay? And also, together with that, meron tayong storm surge. Daluyong, in Tagalog po. It is an abnormal rise of the seawater near coastal areas and it's caused a severe cyclone. How about tornadoes? Tornadoes are rotary storms that appear as whirling and advancing funnel of wind extending downward from the cloud. Ma'am, magkakaroon ma tayo ng tornado this is the Philippines? Here's my answer to you. Okay. Um, they are not likely to occur in the equatorial zone because the cumulonimbus clouds in these areas do not have all the characteristics that they are needed to form. Okay, so tayo po ay nasa baba po tayo ng equator. So pasok tayo din sa equatorial zone. So wala po tayo niyan. Okay, the region that is most frequently, frequently hit by tornadoes are in the United States po. Okay, ang tawag sa kanila doon ay Tornado Alley. Dahil even though there is small, uh, uh, mostly madalas no, nandoon sa kanila ang mga tornadoes. Tides, even though you don't have any um, cyclones or typhoon, merong pagtaas ng tubig. That is because of the tides. Bakit? Because of the moon and the sun have gravitational pools on the ocean that is created. Oscillations which we call tides. Okay? So in every 24 hours, boys and girls, we have two low tides and two high tides. Okay? When the sun and the moon are lined up together and the moon is closest to the earth, you have now high tide. When the moon and the sun are at 90 degrees from each other with regards to the position of the earth, you have now low tides. How about the sea level? One of the causes of the sea level rises is the temperature. Okay, this, the sea level typically occurs as a result of increase in water temperature which increase its volume is either local or global. Okay, the crustal movements. Crustal movements are one of the one of the obvious evidence of this crustal movements is earthquake. So yung sinabi ko sa inyo, tatlong nangyayari, you have the 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 shear, compressional and then the tensional, no? So gumagalaw talaga yung crust. And one of the Isa pa rin na nagkakos para magmove is the volcanic eruption. There are, siyempre pag po nag, 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 na merong volcanic eruption, there will be also a movement on the crust. Now, knowing all those kinds of disaster, paano naman tayo mag-prepare? Sometimes people forget this one. So nagbibigay na ng early warning, lalo na ngayon, so ng mga panahon dati, Siyempre, hindi pa masyadong well-developed ang technology. But now, the technology is very high-tech. So, nakikita na yun. No? 
Pero ang ating mga ninuno, pagtingin pa lang yan sa mga ulap, alam na nila yun. No? Pero this time, you have to take advantage of the technology. No? Lagi pong nag inform sa atin kung ano yung malapit na ba ang bagyo, saan dadaan. Pero tayo, anong gagawin natin? Okay, so number one, we have to be informed. Nood ka ng news, nood tayo ng news of what is happening, especially on the weather. Okay, be ready at home. You know that that will be a typhoon. Check, di ba? Ganun yan eh. Chinecheck yung mga bubong, chinecheck yung kanas, kung may mga nakabara para daloy ang tubig, hindi babahain ang bahay. Okay, what are the kinds of the repairs na kailangan mo? So, nagkaroon ng... ng, ng bitak ng bahay mo, anong gagawin mo? So, you have to also be ready. Prepare, plan, and practice. It is important for individuals and families to increase their awareness. Diba sa school, meron pong ano, earthquake drill. Not just in school, but also in office, in different kinds of offices, meron pong ginagawa na paghahanda. So, dapat sa bahay, bahay nga din natin, eh. o ito yung exit plan natin, ha? dito tayo dadaan. Dito tayo lahat nagkikita-kita. Okay, we could do that also, not just in the office or not just in school, but every, kung saan, lalo na sa bahay po natin. Get educated. Know your emergency hotlines. Maliit lang na papel, i-print mo, dikit mo lang dyan or post it in your ref. Okay, or in every place that is well easy for you to access kung kailangan mo. And pack an emergency preferedness kit that includes... Drinking water, non-perishable foods such as canned veggies and protein bars, manual can opener, flashlights or portable lanterns, and extra batteries. Okay. Um, first aid kits and a crank or battery-powered radio. Napakadali na lang po nitong i-produce ngayon. No? Dahil ang dami-dami na po nitong pwede po natin, pwede po natin uh, mabili. No, hindi katulad po dati na hindi katulad dati po na wala pa nito, hindi pa nito available. So this time available na 'yan at madali na 'yang makuha. Yung first aid kit nga meron ako nakita nakalagay lang sa pouch. Ang dali-daling ilagay sa bag. Lagyan mo 'yan ng mga gamot for the headache, for stomach ache, no? Yung mga pamahid. Okay, so we can do all do that, no? Sabi niya, ah, oh, ang OA na, no. No, hindi siya, hindi siya, malalaman mo na kailangan mo pala yan pag nandoon ka na. No, pero wag naman sana na nandoon ka na bago ka nag-prepare.